Tina Louise is an American actress widely known for her role as movie star Ginger Grant in the CBS television situation comedy Gilligan's Island. With the death of Dawn Wells in 2020, Louise became the last surviving cast member of the TV series. She began her career on stage in the mid-1950s, before landing her breakthrough role in 1958 drama God's Little Acre, for which she received the Golden Globe Award for New Star of the Year. Louise had starring roles in The Trap, The Hangman, Day of the Outlaw, and For Those Who Think Young. She also appeared in The Happy Ending, The Stepford Wives, and The Wrecking Crew. Born Tina Blacker in February 11, 1934, in New York City. By the time she was four years old, her parents had divorced. As an only child, she was raised by her mother, Sylvia, a fashion model. Tina's father, Joseph Blacker, was a candy store owner in Brooklyn, and later an accountant. The name Louise was reportedly added during her senior year in high school, when she mentioned to her drama teacher that she was the only girl in the class without a middle name, and he suggested it. She attended Miami University in Ohio after high school. Louise got her first role at the age of two, after being in an ad for her father's candy store. She began studying acting, singing and dancing at the age of 18, under Sanford Mesa, at the Neighbourhood Play School of the Theatre in Manhattan. Her acting debut came in 1952, in the Bette Davis musical review Two's Company, followed by roles in Broadway productions such as John Murray Anderson's Almanac, Will Success Spoil Rock Hunter, and the hit musical Lil Abner. She appeared in the live television drama Studio One and produced Showcase. She was offered modelling jobs, including the 1958 Fredericks of Hollywood catalogue, and she appeared on the cover of several pin-up magazines such as Adam Sir. Her pictorials for Playboy in 1958 and 1959 were arranged by Columbia Pictures Studio in an effort to promote her. Louise made her film debut in 1958 in God's Little Acre. That same year, the National Art Council named her the world's most beautiful redhead. The next year, she starred in Day of the Outlaw with Robert Ryan. She became a leading lady for stars such as Robert Taylor and Richard Widmark, often playing sombre roles. She turned down roles in films of Little Abner and Operation Petticoat, taking roles on Broadway and in Italian cinema instead. Among her Italian film credits were The Siege of Sicarus. Louise returned to the United States and began studying with Lee Strasberg and became a member of the Actors Studio. In 1962, she guest starred on the situation comedy The Real McCoys, portraying a country girl from West Virginia in the episode Grandpa Pygmalion. She appeared with Ben Denver two years later in the beach party film For Those Who Think Young. In 1964, she left the Broadway musical Fade Out, Fade In to portray movie star Ginger Grant on the situation comedy Gilligan's Island. Over time, she became unhappy with the role and was worried that it would typecast her. Although she continued to work in film and make guest appearances on television, she claimed repeatedly that playing Ginger had ruined her movie career. She did not appear in any subsequent Gilligan's Island sequel movies, Rescue from Gilligan's Island, The Castaways on Gilligan's Island, or The Harlem Globetrotters on Gilligan's Island. Other actresses played the role of Ginger in the sequels. She maintained a steady acting career after the series ended, going on to appear in the Matt Helm spy spoof The Wrecking Crew with Dean Martin and the Stepford Wives. Louise attempted to shed her comedic image by playing darker roles, such as a heroin addict in the 1974 episode of Kojak, as a cruel corrections officer in the TV movie Nightmare in Benham County. Other television appearances included roles in Look What Happened to Rosemary's Baby, SST Death Fight, and the soap opera Dallas during 1978 and 79. In 1984, she began playing Taylor Chapin, in the syndicated soap opera Rituals. 
Later film roles included co-starring appearance in Robert Altman comedy O.C. and Stiggs in 1987, as well as the independently made satire Johnny Swade in 1992 with Brad Pitt. She appeared in the situation comedy Married with Children as Miss Beck. In 2014, she starred in spiritual comedy Tapestry and the horror film Late Phases. Although Louise declined to participate in any of the three Gilligan's Island reunion television films, she did make a few walk-on appearances on talk shows to promote the Gilligan's Island reunions. In the 1990s, she was reunited with co-stars Bob Denver, Dawn Wells and Russell Johnson in an episode of Roseanne. She did not reunite with them for the TV filming of Surviving Gilligan's Island in 2001. Ginger was portrayed by Kirsten Dalton in the television film. Her relations with series star Denver were rumoured to be strained, but in 2005 she wrote a brief affectionate memorial to him in an end-of-year farewell issue of Entertainment Weekly after his death. Following the news of Dawn Wells passing in December 2020, Louise denied any long-time rumours that she resented the role of Ginger Grant. Never true. I love doing my part, especially after they started writing for my character, originally billed as a Marilyn Monroe type of character. A different director took over and really started to write for my character. I really loved my character. She also said that she was very grateful to the show's fans for their continued support, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. We were part of the wonderful show that everyone loves, and it's been a great source of comfort especially during these times, she wrote. We brought a lot of joy to people and still do. This show is an escape from so many things going on. Fathers share it with their children now. I get letters all the time about that. From 1966 to 1971, Louise was married to radio and TV announcer Les Crane, to whom she had one daughter, Caprice, who became an MTV producer and novelist. Tina Louise and Les Crane appeared together as a married couple on the 1973 episode of Love American Style. Caprice Crane's first novel, Stupid and Contagious, was published in 2006 and was dedicated to her mother. Louise is a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences and a lifetime member of the Actors Studio. She has been vocal advocate for improving child literacy and donated a portion of the proceeds from her 2007 book When I Grew Up to literacy programs and said in 2013 interview that she's volunteered at local public schools since 1996. She's written three books including Sunday, a memoir and When I Grow Up. The latter is a children's book that inspires children to believe they can become whatever they choose through creative and humorous comparisons with Animal Kingdom achievements. She also published a second children's book called what Does a Bee Do? in 2009. Louise is quoted as saying, The best movie you'll ever be in is your own life, because that's what matters in the end. As a Democrat, she campaigned for John F. Kennedy during the 1960 presidential election. And she currently still lives in New York City.